Well, here we are. <laughs> well, here we are. The last UPC show of the 1988 year. This last show consists of a few segments that we were unable to get in our last program. But these are just as good as the other ones. We just didn't have like time to put them in. Anyways, um, let's see. That's about it. Um, just sit back and enjoy the program. It'll shut up. What? Oh yeah. This show took 23 minutes to make a new world record. We're all pretty proud of that. Before we leave, we'd like to have Len say a few words. Bye bye everybody. I'm leaving June 17th. I'll write you all. Hi, it's Kevin Shack for UPC, Candy Camera, and uh, we thought it would be great if we used a cordless telephone to fool people. Let's go look at what happened. Hello? Uh, hi, this is Jason. Yeah. How you doing? Fine. What's going on, man? I'm not supposed to be out in the hallway. Are you going to that party this weekend? Which party? The, the one in, uh, the, the one down in Countryside? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. My dad will let me borrow the car. Really? What kind of cars you got? Hugo. Really? Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, I know. It's my favorite car. All right, man. All right, you got to get back to class. I'll talk to you later, all right, man? All right. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, hi, who am I speaking to? Sunday. Sunday? Sunday. But today's Thursday. I know that. Who is this? I don't know. Who's this? Wait, wait. Is this some kind of pervert or something? Pervert? Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? He's breathing He said he wants my body. Hold on. My boyfriend wants to talk to you. Yeah, tell him off, Aaron. Tell him off. Come here. Aaron, come here. Listen, you need to do this. Did your mother know you're doing this? Because I think she would be very... My mother got me started doing this. <laughs> I I'm hanging up the phone. Goodbye. Goodbye. As soon as possible. Oh, do we? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us your full name, please? What? What's your full name? <laughs> Mike Dandino. Mike what? Dandino. Oh, middle name, please? J. So, security number? 589-285721. Uh, account number at the bank? I uh, don't have one. Do you drive a car? Yeah. Your car's been involved in an accident. Has yeah, it? Yes. Okay. Right now. Okay. I'll be up there in a minute. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'll just run right into my car.
No. Oh, you stupid. He turned it off. He turned it off. What did he do with it? He stuck it back there. He's trying to hide it behind the books. <laughs> A portion of this tape was censored for your further enjoyment. This guy's pretty good. He hit the phone and everything. Um, can you grade it? No. Why not? The machine's broken. What'd you do? You broke it? Hmm? You broke it? No. Well, what's wrong with it? It won't grade. Why not? It's made in Japan. So? It's broken. Well, can't you fix it? I can fix it. Well? I don't work free. Who is this? It's one of your students. What is this thing? What do you mean, what is this thing? It's a phone. <laughs> hey, turn it off. You don't. Sure you do. Knock on the window. Knock on the window. Uh. Hello? Hello? Um, can you go it? Uh, okay. Well, folks, that's the uh, end of our show. And, uh, then it's candy camera, so, uh, join us in this next episode. Hi, I'm Mike Blue for UPC Sports. Today we're going to take a look at the most exciting shot in basketball. Now, some of you might think it's the three-pointer, and some of you might think it's the layup. No, it's the slam dunk. I like it, the fans like it, and I think you might like it too once you see our clips. But not everybody likes this shot. The veterans of basketball do not like the shot, and they feel that the, uh, the hoop should be raised up higher. Why don't we take a look at those, uh, those clips that we have in the slam dunk. the slam dunk is very popular with the fans, but if it stays popular in basketball, it remains to be seen. I just have one question to leave you, and I hope you think about this, some of you basketball players. If we're going to raise the rims to keep away slam dunks, I think that we should also move back the three-point line so people like Larry Bird cannot take all his three-pointer shots. Just think about that one, and I'm Mike Blue for UPC Sports.
Hi, I'm Tracy Brown, and I'm here with some countryside students that are modeling the fashions for 1988 summer. This, this is Jill. She has a beard and a white, long sleeve sweater, and a green khaki colored skirt above the knee. The shoes really accent the whole entire look with white pushed down socks, and the shoes are made by Bass. It's a great outfit for the summer evenings. Cool and comfortable. This is Carrie and Kelly. Kelly has to be wearing a two-piece outfit by Bongo. The shirt is short sleeve and the skirt is mini length, which is nice and cool for the summer weather. And the shoes are white canvas, and notice there are no ties. That's Carrie. He's got gotcha shorts on and a gotcha t-shirt. This comfortable attire is great for the summer, for the beach or at home. And together, they both have fun in the sun. This is Amy. She's wearing dangle earrings, and in her second hole, she has double pierced ears. She's wearing studs. Amy is also wearing a peach and white tie dye short sleeve t shirt and stonewashed jeans with zippers on the side. She's wearing tan leather flats. They're comfortable and look good. And the black swatch watch that's comfortable and appropriate. This is Sean. She's wearing a blue and white striped outfit that has shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt. She's wearing matching blue canvas tie around the ankle shoes. And a white tank top and headband that match the outfit. Come, 
Mr. Tallyman and Tally me banana. Daylight come back, me won't go home. Day-o, day-o. Daylight come back, me won't go home. Day-o, 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 day-o. Little boys and girls, welcome to school! <laughs> That's right, boys and girls. You're in school now. And you have to do whatever us teachers tell you to do. <laughs> Put your cigarette and come out with your hands up, please. <laughs> First I was this little amoeba in the ocean, and then I grew and multiplied, and then I became fishes and crabs and crayfishes, and then I crawled out of the ocean and grew legs, and I crawled all around the place, and then after I grew legs, I started to grow four legs, and I hopped around on all fours. And then I grew other kinds of wings and made me a bird. And then, next thing I know, I became a man. Impression of my TV teacher. Well, Troy? That is a muscle spasm in the chin. That is the bell. Let's go.